We're getting back to it this week. Zula's dad's using mm. his car to flatten out the ground. I love his ingenuity. Welding. Mm. I look terrible. Yeah. Moments like this in Mongolia make it so good. This week, mm -hmm. continuing on our deck terrace build. It's been raining on and off for the last two days, so we haven't been able to do anything. On the last episode, we were able to square off all the measurements of the three decks mm -hmm. and make all the holes. holes? <laughs> Have you used this machine before? No. Mm. It was a little bit of a technique, plus some big balls and you can get it done. Now we can start to actually build up, showing you exactly what we do, what we get right, the mistakes we make, and yeah. hopefully by the end of this, you'll be comfortable to be able to build your own deck. Yeah, exactly. Really, really exciting though. So today we're gonna actually do some welding. Hopefully everything goes all right and I don't blow holes in everything. <laughs> Let us show you what we've done so far and what we're gonna do today. Flemmy, come work. <laughs> Hello, Flamey. Hello, brother. Good morning. Flamey, dad. Hello, daddy. Hello, dad, brother. <laughs> this is the entrance section. It is going to be a two and a half meter by three meter entrance, which we're going to have stairs on this side. On the last episode, we were able to install these three posts and we wanted to get them concreted into the ground and steady so that we can then mark off and cut. Of course, we're not going to have a ledger board but this is the, going to be the height of the deck boards, four by two centimeter piece of metal and run it the three meters across and just put on waterproofing tape so that the metal is not in contact with the concrete. Now that I have the height of where the joists are gonna go, these are the four by twos that we're gonna use as the joists. That's gonna sit on top like that and I can take it to exactly where it's supposed to be then I can know where the top of this is going to be and this is going to sit on another post so I need to go down eight centimeters I can draw another line and that's where I need to cut up if that makes sense mm -hmm. let's crack on get these all cut I'm looking forward to the world yeah. We got another cutting machine from Zula's uncle. This one at least runs on our electricity as the other big one was 380 volts, so it didn't work, but it's nice. Cut it really easy. We just need to make a hell of a lot of these. This is gonna be the supporting beam. On the five by five deck, we have four of these. On this one, we have two, and on that one, we have four. So these are the structures that we need to make weld it in and then we can take the metal joists and weld them on top looks nice this is of course dirty so i need to clean it weld it and spray it straight after and because we're gonna have the stairs coming off here if i clean it now if i don't do the stairs today it's gonna rust by tomorrow so i have to clean it again tomorrow so i've mm. just cleaned where i'm gonna do the welds and then i will clean this all properly before i spray it down some of this protective tape just underneath. It's good, you don't want the metal in direct contact with the concrete, otherwise it's gonna collect moisture and it's gonna rust much faster. Now I'm just gonna start to make some holes on top to the right height, then have a top pole, measure everything up, get three of these, and then we can weld it in. <laughs> this is where the confidence has gotta come in. I'm gonna start on this one, because if I truly mess it up, I can always like undo it. But when I go for these ones, if I mess it up, I can't dig out the concrete again. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to call it for tonight. It's getting late. The mosquitoes are coming out. Interesting experience to weld. I'm sure some of you out there are professional welders and you would have done this job in about five seconds. Definitely have got better by the end of the weld than the start. I mean, it's okay. I don't know if you can see my weld. It's not 
not at all great but it works it's holding hopefully I will get better and better by the end we'll pick this up tomorrow morning I'll need to finish off the sides and then we can do the rest before we do the steps it is really great fun too well I much prefer working with wood but this is something new something interesting we pick this up in the morning If you've been following our channel for a while now, you will know the amount of trouble we've had with losing power. Mongolia is notorious for dropping power. Every time there's a rainstorm, it's been so frustrating because we have to stop working all the time. You guys know what it's like when you're dropping power all the time. It's just absolute nightmare. But that is just about to change. I just want to take a second to give a huge shout out to EcoFlow Mongolia. They have been following our channel and our builds here in Mongolia for a while and they have seen the struggles that we have had. They contacted us and they said that they want to help us out. They know how much projects we're doing this summer so they sent us over a delta to try out, to test and to be able to use when the power goes out so we can continue building all these projects here on our homestead. We haven't had time to really test it out, but we will do some real tests on this over the next couple of videos. Having one kilowatt of power that I can use anywhere around the homestead, absolute saver and help us out so much when the power goes out. And the reason I wanted to tell you this as well is EcoFlow is going to offer a 10% discount to all my subscribers here in Mongolia for the month of August. If you go to the head office in Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar, and you use the promotion code SimpleWildEcoFlow, they will give you 10% discount on all these battery packs for the month of August. But guys, EcoFlow, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. It's gonna help us out a lot. Now let's get back to the build. Carrying on this morning with the entrance to the terrace build. Yesterday was my first day learning kind of how to weld, so it took a bit longer than I would have liked. Hopefully I can be a little bit faster today. We're carrying on with the entrance. What we need to do today is we need to put on side bracing on the left side and the right side. Then we can weld the middle bracing in the middle and that's the main frame done for the outside. Then we can start working on the seven and a half meter by five meter deck on this side and the five by five meter deck on that side. We need to get ledger boards on those two sides so we can have poles coming up here before we build the staircase. And once we build the staircase, we'll go through all the details exactly how to put a steel metal staircase together so it's stable and secure. Zula's dad and brother are coming today. They want to continue on the basketball court. If you didn't see the last episode, we're multitasking at the moment. We're building the terrace deck and we're also building a basketball court behind the greenhouse. We finished the retaining wall on half of it. Hopefully we're gonna get a digger coming today to flatten out the area. It is quite a busy day. Let's crack on. Dirty as hell, finished off that. So now we're working on the other sides, but our digger has come. He's gonna start leveling off the area for the basketball court. He's getting there, he's flattened out the whole section. It's starting to look good. Of course, once it's all flat, we have to get one of those ground compressors so we can compress the ground before we run the rebar. But it's starting to actually look like something, not just a wild jungle. Very cool. This is what I mean by coming down to customizing. What I'm working on now is this side of the deck, the steps, and the reason why I need to do the ledger board side here and the ledger board side there is because this deck is of course going to stick out a little bit more and it's going to stick out longer on the other side. We want to have this as level as possible so that we can do the stairs. So we need to do this part first on both sides then once that is done, then we can do the staircase. This comes directly flush with the bricks as square. The ledger board or the metal we're going to use for the ledger board needs to attach to the concrete. But the problem is the concrete, this part is not 
uh, square. If I connect it like that and run it across, it's going to hit that other pole there. It needs to be the same level flush as that. Came up with a new baseline here. It's going to have legs like I had in the middle there. I actually got two small pieces. I'm going to attach that, weld that into place. Then that's going to get welded to that like that, bolted to the ground. Then we can take this one, which is the new ledger board, and we can have it on top here. Weld it there, weld it there, weld it there, weld it there, and weld it to the next pole. And that's going to give us our 15 centimeters for our step. Came up with a plan. I think it's going to work. Just been cutting all the metal to size, checking that it's level, which it is. So now all I need to do is clean all this up and start to weld again. Okay. And it's like we do as much as we can today and then we pick this up tomorrow. Whew. Good job! I should have worn long sleeves and getting burn marks yeah. from the welding machine. Poor baby! It's okay. Good work. <laughs> Zula's dad's using his car to flatten out the ground. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? I love his ingenuity. Oi. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I look terrible. <laughs> so sunburned and so dirty. But we're working, uh, been welding for the last day, been keeping me busy. Uh, Zula's dad is just helping me put on a ledger board. We're going to do something a little bit different for the ledger board. We're not going to use the six centimeter by six centimeter squares. We're actually going to use this corner piece and that we're going to install here, bolt it in underneath and the four by two joists can run on top. So that's what we're doing for now. Mm -hmm. And I can show you what we're working on over here. The whole day I've been welding. I finished off on the other side, which is going to be a 15 centimeter step down. I'm working on this side. So this is all done, welded in. So this is a 15 centimeter step up for the top five by five meter deck. All stable, all lined up. Now we're working on the post. This is a little bit too long. Five meters is actually here. So I'm going to cut it here once we have this one secured. So I'm working on this one and on the other side over there into the ground with some gravel. I'm going to concrete it up, I'm going to weld it up. We've gone up 91 centimeters. We're going to have this on all the outside, which is going to be for our posts. The reason we needed to do this side first and the other side so that it's lined up so we know exactly where to do the stairs, which will be our next major task. And then putting all the other posts. Woo! Welding. Mm. I look terrible. Tima. You look a bronze. I look a bronze, but it's actually dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Building this project, I had three of these machines. One for metal cutting, one for metal grinding, plus I have the brush for taking off the, the rust. So I'm having to change this like 20 times every day. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm getting there slowly. I'm done for today. <laughs> we got um, concrete in both of them so that can set so that we can pick this up again tomorrow. There's a thunderstorm in the background. It's starting to rain. Wow, it's been a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of rain this year. Anyway. We get in there. Nice to have this up. I need some food, baby. Some nice dinner, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or do I need to cook again? Yeah. <laughs> Rain, hail, and sun at the same time. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh,
Today is my nephew's birthday. Uja's birthday. Uja will be how old? Six. She turned six. So we have a big party today. Yeah. <laughs> After they finish their work and then we have a barbecue burger night. Actually making burgers. Nice. <laughs> yes. What we decided to do also is to put up a fencing on half of the basketball court, especially since the ball will bounce and we don't want it to bounce over to the neighbors every five seconds or even by the greenhouse and then we have to fetch it. It's gonna make playing much more fun. So we're gonna put on these four by two fencings, which are actually made to make basketball courts here in Mongolia, some poles. Basically, we're gonna get them all laid up. This time, we actually bought a professional welder since my welding is okay, but it's not perfect. And it doesn't really matter on the deck because it's gonna be all hidden by deck. So I'm still learning on this job. It's gonna be very visible. So we got a guy who's gonna come and weld all these fences together. We're gonna to put it all up. And once that's done, we can concrete it all in and then we can clean it all and paint it. Before we actually do the concrete slab, since it's going to be on this side and half of this side, we can put it into the ground, concrete it in, and then it's once it's standing where we want it to be, then we can do the concrete base. It's going to learn some more wild. <laughs> So we got the first one up, it's in place, it's level, we've got concrete blocks to hold it. So now he's going to start to weld the next one so we can do the corner piece and then we can go on. Once we have everything up and level, we will brace it all together and then tomorrow we will come and pour concrete, clean it down and paint it all nicely. Mm -hmm. Very complicated, but it's going to work. Tall, huh? Yeah, it's a little tall. But I mean, that's the standard size, so... Mm -hmm. At least with this standard height, we can have a volleyball net here as well. We can play volleyball as well. The ball's not going to go flying. I promised them that I would make them burgers tonight, even if it's late. This is the South African way of building a fire. Too big on the side, and you build it up like a square. That's the difference. Moments like this in Mongolia that make it so worth it. We've got some good family work going on. We have a nice fire, beautiful moon in the background. Moments like this, spending time with the family is just one of the most special moments that you can ever have. Yeah. To build this life, it's, uh, it's hard work. It's really hard work, but it's so meaningful and so good. I'm so glad that I can share parts of our life with you means a lot to hear from you guys and uh, have you part of our journey and our life here in Mongolia. Love you guys. So a little bit more work to do and make some burgers for the family. Perfect. Good morning. We're up early this morning because we want to crack on. Yesterday we got these poles in, welded together, but there's nothing supporting it. We need to get some concrete mixed up. We want to do it as quickly as possible today because it's going to be one of the hottest days in Mongolia. It's going to be plus 30 degrees centigrade today. So it's going to be a killer around lunchtime. That's why we want to mix the concrete up, get it in, get it supported before lunchtime. Concrete time. <laughs> It's better, but this way. It's different. Last one. Well, we finished everything off. It's all concreted up, so the fence is done. 
Now it's all in place, all level. Now we're just gonna let it cure. It's good that we finished it off early. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's 25 degrees. It's gonna go over 30 by lunchtime. Now I need a cup of tea and then we'll see. Wow, it's been an incredible week, lots of work. I think we're gonna call it for today. It's gonna be extremely hot today and tomorrow and we have a lot of work in front of us, I know. Next week, we will pick this up. We're gonna finish the staircase, get concrete on our basketball court. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a rough one next week. Guys, just a big shout out to you. Thank you so much for following us along on this journey. We love you and we will see you in the next one. Bye.